Welcome to another Solid Motion VFX tutorial. Today we're looking at an AI engine which should cover all your AI logic for your game. We're talking about Blaze AI engine of course. Blaze AI is a very easy but yet a powerful customizable AI asset. In no time you'll have an AI patrolling around in your scene. It's suitable for all sorts of an AI such as friendly, companion, enemy, shooter, melee, animal, mech, civilian, boss, you name it. Does not matter whether it's a shooter game RPG or whatnot, Blaze AI don't force any framework upon you, which gives you as an artist the freedom to create the AI you want. It is state behavior driven, meaning a lot of the pre-configured mono behavior components is already ready to use. You simply just need to add them. From there you can really harness the power by switching behaviors with your own to suit your specific game. It is a feature rich and packed with cool things such as a cover shooter, distractions, equipping weapons, communications between the AIs and something which other AI systems currently don't have which is support of off mesh links. Let's go over and see how to set up a shooter AI. Please ensure to use the provided well written documentation as well as the awesome discord with an awesome community. For this tutorial we are only focusing on the AI asset. So depending on which player framework you use you will have to tweak it for your own use. I'm using Invector's third person shooter that means I'm shooting with Raycast bullets and when I want to deal damage to the Blaze AI agent, I have to code it in my projectile script. More on that later. For better organization purposes, I have uh, created my folders such as animations, animation controller, audio, materials, prefabs and scripts. Prefabs, I have my gun on my AI connected to his parent to his hand. I have my muscle flash here and I have my bullet as well. And of course my low poly enemy here from Sinti. First ensure that you have uh, baked an F mesh to the floor here. So as you see, I have baked this. Okay. Next thing we want to add a Blaze AI component, like so. The first thing I do is go in and, and adjust the capsule collider. Maybe like so. Now go into my vision here. And in the vision, this is where you can set up what your AI should detect, among other things. So uh, layers to detect, for now let's just take uh, the player layer, hostile and alert, we also set the player up here. Hostile tags will be the one you have to set up to be able to the, for the AI to attack your enemy or your player. So let's add in the player tag. So my player here has the tag of player, as you see, tag. Go back to enemy, the vision, okay. Right now, for this tutorial, we're not gonna set up the alert tags. Now for the vision, we'll move up on the y-axis, so the vision will look approximately from his head or eyes, and adjust the maximum and minimum. So maximum is the green bar, and the minimum is the red square here below. Set it up like this. And uh, you can always adjust these cone angles over here, and also how far he should uh, look at. So you, you see the sight range is set to 10 right now. If I move that, you can go even further. If you set it to 360 on the normal state, he will detect everything also behind him. So let's see how that works. If you, yeah, 360, and you create this sphere around. So while you're selected your enemy, then on your enemy controller, bring in all your animations that you want here. Let's go to the enemy and add the states. So here, right now you can see you have a normal state, alert state, and attack state. Click on the add behaviors. We'll add these behaviors for you, and you can see when you collapse this, they added here, normal state, alert, attack, cover, shooter, going to cover, surprised. We're just gonna be focusing on the attack and normal. So for the normal one, let's see here. Let's choose the idle first, and I'm just gonna copy the name here, so I don't have to go back and forward like that. So idle animation in here. Just uh, copy paste it in. Move speed three is too fast for my liking, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put 1.2. Turn speed. I'll put it to three. Blaze AI does a really nice uh, automatic turn speed uh, turning animation for you, but if you have your own turning animations, uh, that will even enhance and make it more visually appealing. Okay, so normal state. Let's go to attack and see uh, idle animation. Put it in here as well. Idle. Yep, and attack idle, for now that's good. Now we're going to the firing here. 
control C, go back to the enemy, attack, and let's see here. Here we'll put in under attack animation and timing, you'll put in all your attacks here. So attack duration, I'll put in 0.8 here. Attack duration, I'll put in one for now. Animation duration, I'll put it 0 0.25. This will be the transition from the current animation to this animation. So if he was idling and then you go to attack, that will be the transition time from there. And you can as add as many as attack as you want. And also uh, uh, we need to make sure that we also have this range done because he's a shooter. Attack distance, let's just put that 10. Maybe actually 15, like so. Move backwards here. We don't have any, uh, we have a walking back here. So let's take this animation, walking back, copy. Go back to the enemy. And then under moving back animation, put it in there. You don't have to use it, you can just dis dis uh, disable this checkbox here if you don't want to use it. Turn to target, I like to have that on. Here if you have use turn animation, you could put that on. Strafing, left and right. By the way, a tooltip is almost on all the properties to help you. So you can just hover uh, over these uh, different property names and you will actually have a little tooltip. That's pretty useful. Now let's go into the audio. So what Blaze does here is that uh, it creates, uh, you need to create an audio scriptable where it contains all of your sound clips. So I only have this uh, rifle shot right now, but uh, in the project you have to right click, create, and then go to Blaze AI, audio scriptable, and let's just uh, rename this, this audio enemy. And for the attack here, attack state, you have the different audits you can put in for the normal state, alert, surprised, attack, and so on. For for the attack right here, you'll actually just to check your uh, sh rifle shot, put it there. Now it's in there. Now go back to your enemy, over to blaze eye component general tab and then here where it says audio scriptable you have to drag this over your scriptable and insert it there so this scriptable can be re reused for other AIs as well cool right now that randomized waypoints is set checked on meaning that uh, you using this randomized radius you will walk around inside of that radius uh, in random points but if you want to manually control where you should, you should use this set waypoint waypoints but to be able to do that you need to discheck this randomized so discheck that and then you can just add as many waypoints you want and these are transform points which is created for you drag your transformation points the next one as well but i don't want that i want to use the randomize so i'm gonna keep that on cool remember for the audio that you have actually to remember to enable these on each of the states it won't play the audio sound if you don't Click on this play, play attack ad, uh, idle audio. Now let's go to the walking, which is our movement. Just uh, click on that, go to enemy. And let's start with the normal state here. So we have an idle on, move, insert it there. So for the attack, the movement should be the run, not the walk. By this point, you should have a working uh, AI who should be able to just uh, walk around patrol and also detect our, our player here. Okay, he's walking around. Again, depending on which player you're using, I'm using the Invector here. So it really depends on how you wanna deal damage and take damage. That's a specific case. For my case, it's just, I'm using the Invector here. So it comes with a V object damage component here. So I'll add that to my bullet prefab. So on the bullet prefab, I can uh, go up and open properties and then damage options. How much damage should I take? 15. And also layer to collide because I'm using a box collider on my bullet. I'll choose a uh, on collider enter because the box collider up here and the layers will be player and the text will be player as well. And then on the bullet itself, I have a sh very, very simple script. And it's just uh, on collision enter, it's gonna destroy the bullet after 0.5 uh, seconds, okay? Now for the enemy itself here, go to my scripts, scripts folder. I created this simple error bullet shooter so go back to enemy I'm just gonna drag it over here like so and then on my gun I created a fire point on the end of the barrel as well as a uh, for the muzzle flash so basically 
if we check the fire point to the fire point slot and the muscle flash the muscle flash let's go over to let's go over to the prefabs again and the bullet here and the bullet prefab and the muscle flash for the flash here like so if we take a quick look at our shooter script here so basically I made just a public uh, transform uh, for the bullet prefabs gun flash fire points set a bullet uh, bullet speed is a public float then uh, on the public void shoot this is the animation event I'm calling so it will instantiate my gun flash my mus muscle flash point and it will also destroy it afterwards after 0.5 units I also instantiate a bullet from the bullet uh, from the fire point transformation I will instantiate my bullet and it will be driven by this rigid body component and then I will use the transformation forward times the bullet speed it, uh, if there's no rigid body detected it will destroy it very simple script we'll also test if I can take damage at the same time oh, 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 oh. yeah yes and remember if you encounter that uh, your enemy is still shooting at you or attacking you while when you play as death the simple uh, solution here is and remember everything is also written in the documentation here for this is that you just go in and uh, change your tag on your player to another thing for example untagged uh, then he will not uh, then it will not detect them anymore okay now let's go to blaze AI also and the, on the hit there's another add, add behavior here so add behavior for a hit and now you see we have another component here and that's called the hit so when you are hitting your AI here you can play an animation so let's open that one up get the name on that go back to the enemy and let's see here put it in here and let's say 0.25 for the duration okay now let's take a look at my V projectile control that means this is my script uh, that comes with uh, my own uh, Invictus players this is for his shooting with the raycast so if I want to deal damage to my blaze AI agent I have created this using the blaze AI namespace and then I will go down here to where it says on hit collider here right so I'll go down here and to able to call the hit method here I will say hit info collider get component what component the blaze AI and then run this method the hit and if you just uh, write hit without any information in the parameters without setting in it it will just play the hit animation but if you set it uh, with the boolean to true the AI will also go to the shooter if you look at the documentation go down to the hit you'll actually see what uh, how you to call the hit you'll use this blaze hit and then play a game object AI will move after hit state to check location if you put in the player transform here right so I have it right here on my V projectile script here this is uh, because I'm shooting with raycast for my player hit info collider I will get the component blaze AI use the hit method and then for the parameter I will pass on the player object and will turn it to true so we should go there but remi remember you have to change also the tag to enemy so select your enemy change the tag yes again I can highly recommend go through the documentation here it's well written everything is in here you can see health and diff and uh, if you took a look at the health you'll actually see blaze AI comes with a simple uh, health component you can use as well but you have to code it if you want to deal damage and retract damage from there blaze AI health here and because I'm using in vector I want to link it up to a health controller so health controller like so and I'm gonna take this health controller put it up to my health controller up here and then they are linked now so my max health will start with 100 100 up here when I take uh, damage he should actually be retracting damage from here so let's see the damage here and then when he's dead you can call the the death of course right you're gonna go look at the death section in the docs and in here you will also see what to call it's pretty easy just call the blaze death you can set it to true then he will actually if you put in if you pass in the true parameter then the AI will call other AIs to the current location 
or if you set it to true and player, they will call the other AIs to the player location. You can also just leave it and just call the diff without no parameter, and he will just die and play the animation by itself. Okay? And that concludes this uh, tutorial here. I hope you find it useful. I will make some more tutorials uh, where we're going to look at the different distractions and cover shooter and much more advanced ones. And also how you can set up the AI to switch around the attack, uh, the attack state's behavior because you can add as many attack states as you want. So your AI can, depending on where, how the distance is between the player and the AI, you can make him a melee and you can make him throw grenades, for example. So we can do a lot of stuff by adding just more uh, attack states and just switching them uh, through code. So a lot of cool, cool, useful here. I would definitely say this is one of the best AI assets I have ever tried. You should definitely go for it. I will leave a link in the description. And go grab this asset from the asset store. Bye. See you on the next one.